Click. Hello, I'm Paul and uh, welcome to the first edition of uh, Base Weekly. I'm sitting here in the beautiful local studios and uh, in this first episode of Base Weekly we're going to try out some uh, different flatwood strings. Today I'm playing an uh, GNL uh, SP2 bass. It's an Asian made bass. Uh, great workhorse of a bass. And I'm recording directly. Uh, I'm using a uh, Rachel uh, JDI passive uh, DI box. And uh, we're going to try out uh, the different flatwood strings with fingerstyle playing and pick playing. And the first set we're going to try out is the Rot Rotoson True Bass 88. Um, Paul McCartney uh, used it on the album Abbey Road. So let's uh, check off the first set. That was the Rotoson uh, True Bass 88. Uh, the tension of these uh, strings are really light. It's really easy to bend, uh, bend the strings. Uh, and um, the sound is quite uh, unique because of the nylon. It's surpri surprisingly long uh, sustain on these strings. The next note is the Labella 760M. This is the iconic flats used by um, Duck Dunn and Moton Studios. So uh, let's check them out. That was the Labella 760M. Uh, I feel like the tension of these strings are a bit heavier, but uh, that also makes them sound uh, more um, beefy, but uh, not muddy. They are also the most expensive set of these uh, three flats. Uh, the next out is uh, Dadaru Chromes. Uh, famous user is uh, Justin Mel Johnson. Uh, so let's check out how they sound. That was the Dadario Chromes. Uh, the tension here is much lighter compared to the Labella flats. Uh, they sound really tight and uh, are defined in the bass range. Uh, that was the Flatwin edition of Bass Weekly. Uh, tune in next week and thanks for watching.